Hi YouTube, I'm Josh Strife Hayes and this is a video guide to the dungeon Kessel's Retreat. Kessel's Retreat is the second epic dungeon. We are taking a group of four DPS and a tank. You're not going to really need a healer or a tank for this one because you can just DPS blitz it all the way through. But I'm taking a tank so we can grab the aggro of the enemies and I can explain it as we go. So let's queue up for Kessel's Retreat and get straight there. I'm going to be explaining the mechanics as we go, as fast as we can, to get to the chest at the end. I'm not going to bother going into any of the secrets that are in this dungeon. It's just about room to room and killing the boss as fast as we can. If you have any questions about this, you can normally find me on Twitch under Josh Strife Hayes. So as soon as you get into the dungeon, hop on your mount and ride up straight away. Because this dungeon was released with the Icewind Dale expansion, you're going to get a lot of black ice drops from the enemies. They're not really important anymore. Now most of this dungeon is mobs and ads. We're going to be burning through those as fast as we possibly can. Keep them in a group and do as much DPS as you can. A heavy DPS group should have no problem with this at all. You will also see that in Kessel's Retreat you get a lot of black ice enchantment drops. It's always worth picking all these up because the refining points definitely add up. Ride straight across the bridge in front of you and run into the next load of adds. It's worth killing these as you go. You can ride past them if you want to, but they're just going to chase you. It's probably more trouble than it's worth to try and avoid them. So just kill them as you go through. It's nothing specifically difficult, just avoid the red as usual and do as much DPS as you can. I really like the aesthetic design of this dungeon. The fact you're on the edge of a cliffside, I think it's really pretty. They've done a great job making it look decent. The four guys that are with me are all from the Neverwinter Legit Channel Alpha Alliance. They're four very skilled players, so I'm not worried about anything in this dungeon at all. In this first room, burn these guys down quickly. They'll all run into a mob allowing you to AoE pretty much everything, and this guy over here, the Deathlot White, can prove to be a problem for lower geared groups. He can hit quite a lot of damage from a distance. So focusing him is sometimes a really good idea. This is the black ice that I was talking about, the stuff that's floating around. Running into it gives you a small amount of black ice. Unless you're using black ice armor, you really don't need to collect it. This room contains a couple of elite mobs and enemies, but as you can see, we're bringing them all together into a group and then using huge AoE to knock them down. A lot of enemies have this massive red circle attack that will knock you back, as you can saw happen to me just there. Avoiding that, always a good idea. Once those guys are burnt down, you'll see we've completed gain entry to Kessel's Fortress. We're now getting a little bit closer to the boss. We ride straight forward, past the bonfire, and then carry on into the underground cave. Enemies are going to run around this corner. If you can, keep them together as a group. It makes fighting them so much easier. I've not got any specific mechanics to talk about yet because nothing that difficult has happened. You're going to keep being ambushed and mobbed all the way there. But once you've taken these guys down, you can hop back on your mount to make travelling just that little bit quicker. One final group are going to run around these steps here. These guys are on bears and can charge at you. If they charge at you, they will knock you over, so dodge out the way when you see that long, thin, red attack on the floor. Once you've dealt with everything, carry on. You can see we're being showered in black ice enchantments. Now in this room, two bears are going to charge at you either side, and over here we've got another white that can do a lot of damage if you leave it alone. So pull everything together into a group and AoE everything at once. If you allow yourself to get surrounded by these guys, especially if you're lower item level, it's going to prove to be a tough fight. Once you've cleared this room, you're pretty much there. 
run straight through this corridor and press F on this huge block of ice to teleport up the tower. You can now no longer get on your mount. There are two giants over there in the corner, as you can see. These are black ice golems. These guys explode when they die. So make sure once you've done enough to them to kill them, you get out the way. It'll be really obvious because they'll be surrounded with a red circle. So once that happens, get out the way. If I specifically stand in this circle to show you what happens, if you're in the death area, you'll get frozen. After you've been stunned, only lasts a few seconds. Carry on down, we're finally at the boss. This is Akar Kessel. Now he's got two beholders with him. These beholders can actually be used to help you. The beholders will attack you, but if you get the beholders down to just a little bit of health left, they will turn and attack Akar Kessel. If you're a lower DPS group, this is a really nice tactic to focus on. But if you've got enough DPS, just burn the beholders and Kessel down as fast as you possibly can. He will spawn some adds, deal with these the same way you deal with every ad, by killing them as fast as possible. You can see on the little cinematic he spawned those two beholders. Now the tank's going to run forward and grab aggro. The beholders are going to be a problem. Now Akar Kessel will constantly throw these black and purple energy balls out from his body. They can do a lot of damage to you, so try and avoid them. This area is going to be completely covered in red AoE damage. Taking down one of the beholders first is always a good idea. I'm going to join my team and take this one down over here. If you've got a lower DPS team or you're a slightly lower geared group, focus on one of the beholders and kill it as soon as possible. Now that beholder's turn it starts to attack Akar Castle because you saw its health got low. Unfortunately, its health got so low we killed it before it could help us. We don't really need the damage these beholders are going to provide. Akar Castle has now summoned some more unstable golems. If you remember these, they're exactly like the golems outside. They will explode when they die. Getting stunned in this area might be a problem because you're going to fall into the red AoE. If you accidentally walk into one of those black and purple balls like I'm going to do now, you'll see that a few of your encounter powers get locked and you can't use them. Only lasts for a few seconds, but if it happens to everyone, it can be a problem. Once your encounter powers are back, walk forward and AoE castle. One of the best ways is everyone to hug him as close as they can and just spam all of your encounter powers as fast as possible. Even though everyone will be frozen with those black balls, it only takes a few seconds for everyone to get back on their feet. Once the beholders are dealt with and all the adds are dealt with, simply DPS Akar Castle as fast as you can. There's nothing that difficult about this fight apart from avoiding the energy attack that he pushes out those purple balls. Once you've burned him all the way down, he has a chance to drop some rare items. You can see that I only got a Peridot. And over here, you've got two chests. Over on the right hand side, I can use a legendary dragon key to open this one. This is actually the Akar Kessel's key. We can open this by opening our quest journal, going to the Sword Coast Chronicles, and then opening the Icewind Dale campaign. In the Icewind Dale campaign, you'll see the Kessel's Retreat key over here. It requires three gold, three dwarf gold, three Aurel's Tears, and ten Conag Coins. I don't have any of those, and I'm not going to use one of my legendary dragon keys to open this. However, over here, we have the regular treasure chest, which you're guaranteed to get by killing this every single time. Opening it up gives me a choice of two rings, some black ice stuff, and a lesser purified black ice enchantment. You can sometimes get some good stuff here, but it was more useful back when Icewind Dale campaign was the main one. Accept that and carry on. That is a very quick guide to Kessel's Retreat. So go off, give it a go, and good luck.